Hi everyone, Donut here. Let's watch a crazy video, but first, let me tell you about my sponsor, Raycon Earbuds. Well, Raycon's disrupting the electronics industry by designing premium wireless earbuds for half the price without compromise. I like Raycon Earbuds so much because you can completely drown out all those unimportant things in life. Dad, I'm hungry. Oh, John. <laughs> Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns with a variety of fit options and no dangling wires or stems. I fell down the stairs and I can't feel my legs. <laughs> <laughs> the company was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like Mike Tyson are obsessed with Raycons. They even have a 45 day free return policy if you're not happy. Dad, the house is on fire! The house is on fire! <laughs> 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 Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. Click on the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash operator to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Said I should watch this. It's from a First Amendment auditor, it looks like, if I had to guess from the name of the channel, and it's Cops Trespass People in Public, which they can't do. So we have no context. Albuquerque, as in most places, alleyways or public property, can you be trespassed? Albuquerque Police Department believes so. These officers use this opportunity to run these people through the system and actually arrest one. Well, what were they doing in the alley? <laughs> Dude, I'm here. Hey, we're at uh, Zuni. That's funny. They're actually mad at the First Amendment auditor. We got a line of fucking people down here. She's on something. Yeah, she's a little high. I'm here so the cops don't hurt you guys. I'm not here to record you guys. Well, you better tell me, you know what? I want my identity back. That's why the cops were there in the first place. That's why the cops were in the alley. Three cops for trespassing. Maybe the business owners don't like. 12 people hanging out at their business doing crack. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. The homeless people are turning on the First Amendment auditor and, the, and the, like they're fist bumping the cops and shit. <laughs> they're doing a great job, friendly neighborhood citizen. They were really violating every single one of their rights by, uh, I don't know, chasing them off of private property because they were out there drinking and smoking and meth. This guy's doing the Lord's work really is an NPC conversation in real life. It's, it's like a Grand Theft Auto 5 conversation right now. I always said if I join one of those uh, role-playing servers, uh, one of the Grand Theft Auto 5, GTA 5 role-playing servers, I would never play a cop. I wouldn't want to do that at all. I would definitely be a homeless person. No trespassing zone. This looks like a public alley to me. It looks like it belongs to the Circle K and they don't want people smoking a bunch of meth on their property and bothering people who come in and pay for gas and other things. <laughs> Donut uses logic. It's not very effective. He's coming back for more though, man. Old P. Dookie Salmon over here. He's gonna tell me he's okay. He says, I'm a cop watcher. <laughs> the culmination of this man's life experiences and passions has led to this moment. <laughs> right. Do you think the cops were going to run up and just like shoot those people or just start beating people up or because that's exactly what's in his mind. They won't hurt you if I'm here. It's like, no, you want content for your shitty little YouTube channel. <laughs> you need the I'm helping Ralph Wiggum meme. That's exactly what this is. It's Ralph going, I'm helping. Yeah, she's pissed because you're filming her. Her boyfriend got arrested and she's trying to talk to the police about it. Yeah, you're I'm fucking the one wearing the badge. Her. Fucking arresting people. Let's go down the friendly neighborhood citizen hole. Let's watch the first one. Cops getting on one. Why are you guys making me do this shit tonight? We're across the street from the... Oh, I know who the fuck you are. Get the fuck out of here. Excuse me, what? Did I stutter? I said get the fuck out of here. I didn't ask for your help. What is the point in, in talking to someone you don't know like that? Super friendly guy. He just owned that cop, though. I'm glad he owned that cop like that. Owned him completely. Jesus, man. What a rude person. Owned. Across the street from the Presbyterian downtown. Oh, yeah. Serving and protecting. Not a What's your name and badge number? Dude, you know I'm going to get this shit eventually. What are you, what are you getting? What are, what are you getting? The cop taking someone's license plate. Okay. Cool. You're going to get this shit eventually? What? Like, just annoying the fuck out of people? I don't like how 
close he is to that cop and behind his back like that. I feel like I would tell him to move on his fucking way. But then I think these cops know who he is. But I don't know, man. I'd tell him to at least get in my line of sight, like in front of the car or something. My boss told me to ignore you, so that's what I'm going to do. So they do know who he is. That's that's funny. Ignore you, so that's what I'm going to do. His boss told him to ignore me. I've been considering uh, doing a whole thing where I put like 10 GoPros on myself and find First Amendment auditors when they're streaming and then audit them. And just like annoying the fuck out of First Amendment auditors like they annoy cops and just following them around until they ask a cop to tell me to tell me to leave them alone. How about you suck a dick? Oh, what? That's very unkind of you to say. <laughs> I love this cop though. We're just owning cops tonight. We're owning all these pigs, aren't we, Bird? He just roasted that cop, man. The sergeant told this dude not to give me his name. <laughs> the sergeant didn't say not to give you his name. He said ignore you because you're an asshole. That's that's what happened. I love that second clip that we just watched of his compilation of owning cops. He owned that cop. He's showing them who's the boss. I smell a suck a dick coming, right? All right, I'll put another thousand dollars on it. A suck a dick is coming. <laughs> I smell a cuss. I smell a cuss coming. Oh, don't start barking orders in public. Go fuck yourself. Oh, it's a DUI stop. He's owning these cops, stopping a dude from plowing into a family. I've seen flashlights, so I got excited. They're searching for someone. That's the perfect time to come up with a camera in the dark. I'm loving all this ownage. Fuck you. <sighs> what if they're searching for someone who just shot someone? Someone who just committed a home invasion and killed a baby. And you walk up on the cops in the dark and they ask you to put your hands up and you say, fuck you. This is the smartest man on YouTube. I'm glad he's owning these cops so hard right now. I'm, I'm fucking on this. I'm on the street. What are you talking about? Get that Mario Chavez, but there's another dude out here that's kind of dangerous. Yeah, why do you think I'm here? They're being so polite with him, too. They they, they just say his real name. <laughs> they, they know his first and last name. They're like, there's a dude out here that's kind of dangerous, so could you step back a little bit? What if old dangerous dude just, like, walked up and stabbed old... First Amendment auditor guy here. Not that I'm not, you know, you guys know I'm not saying that, like, I hope that happens, but it's like, what, he would be like, please help, help, please, please help. There is a dangerous dude out here. You were right. You were right all along. I'm not stupid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're searching for a dangerous suspect and I won't go away. I'm not stupid. You shouldn't be a cop if you're scared, bro. I can't hear you, Mario. You shouldn't be a cop if you're scared. I'm not coming any closer. Fucking pussies. These pussies out here searching for a dangerous suspect in the dark. Dude clearly wasn't loved enough as a kid. I know how hard it can be living without a father figure. <laughs> I am looking forward to seeing more cops getting on. So he hearts all the comments that are agree with him and then he deletes all the ones that don't agree with him. How's it going, man? Not too bad, what happened? Uh, can you do me a favor, man? If you're gonna be filming, we just need you outside of our uh, scene here, okay? But people are walking by here like crazy. You're, right, if you're, you're gonna you're gonna start room, barking fucking orders at me, if you Jay Simmons, room, go fuck yourself. Car, you okay. came and approached me. I Shut your fucking you mouth and go you back you that way. This is our scene, and we need you to back up. What a okay. nice human. Okay. Go fuck yourself that way. You stay back a little bit, okay? Owned, bro. I love how he fucking owned that cop right there. That was the best shit I've ever seen. Showed him. You guys like doing people's shit? If I had to guess they're trespassing dude off of someone's private property again, like she just said, you need to take your stuff and go. Are you ever gonna stop throwing people's shit? It's not yours to throw, you fucking dumb bitches. Have a good day. Wow, dude, come on. Dumb bitches. We got two Amboos on scene at a shitty motel, so someone either OD'd or someone needed help, and Amboos normally don't want to go into shitty motels without a police officer being there because in shitty motels you have shitty people. Yeah, is that how we do? Is that how we do? What, what, did, what did he do? D drive through a parking lot trying to protect medics from getting fucking stabbed with, with needles? Oh, wow. <laughs> Throw the finger up at him for protecting paramedics who were probably saving someone's life. People like this exist, guys. Got him good. Got him good. Get your fucking light out of my eyes! Obstruct. I'm with your fucking mother, dumb piece of fuck. I need the uh, the, <laughs> the air horn from old. 
You turn your lights off first, you dumb fuck. Oh, I do too then. And you can go suck a dick too. Oh, there it is. I didn't lose my thousand dollars. We said it was coming. We said another suck a D was coming. He said the thing. He said the thing. Oh, no. What do we have? A fucking barricaded suspect or something. They're clearly calling out commands. Come out with your hands up. We're not going anywhere. And he's he just dipped under the police line. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Oh, buddy, you're proving us all wrong tonight. The tape is m more of a suggestion. Jesus, really? You got two cops posted up behind cover. It looks like one with lethal and one with non-lethal, and you're sneaking up behind them to film them. Buddy. Buddy. Don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing, you dumb fucks. Dude, okay. I tell these two dumb fucks not to worry about what the fuck I was doing back here. Well, you owned them. Oh my God. Oh, I would, someone needs to put him in handcuffs right now because this is definitely a highly dynamic scene going on right now. And he's sneaking up behind cops and screaming at them. I'm not saying arrest him, but at least detain him at this point. <laughs> it's like hundred percent obstruction. I'm glad he's out here videotaping them and saving lives though. Owning cops and saving lives right now on what looks like a barricaded suspect call. Oh fuck, there's a camera. It's more dangerous than the dude. Come out with your hands up. <sighs> Come out. No, you dumb fuck. There's no guarantee that that dude's safe from you guys. A barricaded suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking aneurysm, listen to this guy. You guys remember the video I did? I think it was Portland where the guy was going to kill himself and then the, the people formed a protest outside the apartment building and started screaming at him, which agitated him more. And the guy's mom even comes out and is like, he's going to kill himself. Please stop yelling. And they kept yelling and then they yelled at the mom. It's like that. It's like that level of stupidity. If we got to get into it with flashlights, we fucking will. He goes out at night specifically to have flashlight battles with police officers. If you want to get into flashlights, we will. <laughs> See, I was just trying to sit back and watch this one. I wasn't going to fucking record, but then you fucking started with your flashlight. Sorry he pointed his flashlight at you to get a better view of the person walking up on him in the dark. Violating the shit out of your rights right now, Mr. Mario. Just trying to hang back and watch this one, make sure we didn't fucking kill anybody. The fucking dude started shining his light in my eyes. Nothing that sets me off faster than fucking lights in my eyes. Nothing sets me off faster than lights in my eyes, he says, when the police are out here, probably in not a very good neighborhood, and they're talking to someone, and a guy walks up on them in the dark, and they pull out their flashlights just to make sure it's not a person who's going to come up and shoot them in the face. Super friendly. Su super friendly, my guy. Let's just blind the cop in the middle of the night. What the fuck, sir? Hold on, suck a D's coming. Suck a D's coming. I know suck a D's coming. Here we go. Here we go. Your issue. What the fuck's with the fucking lights? Why are, why, why are you police using flashlights in the middle of the night? I'm talking to this fucking douchebag right here. You like lights in your eyes? You fucking douchebag. What's your name and badge number, bitch? Suck a dick. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> what he called it. Let's go. <laughs> he said the thing. He said the thing. Every fucking time I see you on the street, I'm coming to record your ass. I see dudes with their hands up right here. I see cops with their guns out over here. So allegedly, they don't know for sure. God damn, and you're walking up on them from behind when they're... Ugh. But allegedly... One of these guys has a gun. You don't, you don't know what's going on, dude. What's up? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm a good fifteen. Supposed to have a gun. If you get shot, I'd rather you not. I'm a good fifteen feet away from you guys. Don't worry about me. It's just a camera. Oh, good thing guns have a fourteen foot range, right? I don't, I don't have to keep saying it. You don't know what's happening in the situation, and they're obviously not trying to kill anyone right now. And they did a good job at at pulling them out of the car, getting them on the ground, and now they're going to figure out what's going on. We got compliance. We don't have guns pointed at anyone. Everyone's chill. We're going to put everyone in handcuffs. We're going to figure out the situation. That's all that's happening right now. Oh, yeah, you better come over here. Fucking scared. Wish Angry Cops was on the scene, <laughs> right? He would get, this, this dude would get knife hand into oblivion. The fly buzzing around my room has a more useful life than you from Andre. <laughs> Just makes me feel dirty watching these videos. They're entertaining as shit, but it... I feel like I'm definitely going to have to go take a shower after this. Cause let's film these cops because they're going to kill this dude who's ODing in excited delirium or whatever the hell's going on. They're definitely going to kill this guy protecting the paramedics from whatever crackhead shit he was doing. But Angry Beaver says, this guy definitely pees laying down. <laughs> That's my new favorite line. 
That's my new favorite insult in my vocabulary. Angry. Ouch. <laughs> that, <laughs> that hurt me to my soul. Wow.